Welcome. I want to share one of my favorite foods for Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners, a delicious and easy lentil loaf. I wanted a holiday meal that everyone could enjoy, regardless of what they typically ate. Most of the lentil loaves I tried in the past were either lacking flavor or barely held together. After many fails, I finally came up with a lentil loaf that is packed with nutrients, looks amazing, and is bursting with delicious flavors. This lentil loaf has become a family favorite and it won't disappoint. I'm really excited to share this with you, so let's get started. I'll be doubling this recipe, so if you'd like to make just one loaf, I'll have the recipe linked below. First, we're going to start by chopping our veggies, cutting some onions and celery, carrots and garlic, and a jalapeno. And you're going to want to make sure to chop everything about the same size so it cooks evenly. Another option is to add mushrooms. I like to add criminy. I like to add a lot of garlic there. Um, it gives it a really nice flavor. So for the carrots, I typically don't peel them. I just kind of scrape a little bit off. Make sure to cut them small too. You don't want to have them too big or they just don't soften really nice. And with the jalapenos, I typically remove the membrane from there. Um, you never really know how hot the jalapeno is going to be. You can kind of tell if it's kind of threaded on the outside with white. It typically is a little bit hotter, but just to be safe, I usually remove it. You have the option to cook these in oil or water, depending on what you prefer. With the sofrito, what I like to do is add about a tablespoon of oil, and then as it's going, I add about a tablespoon of water each time just to keep the moisture in. You don't want to let it dry out. You're going to cook these until it's nice and soft. You're basically sweating out the veggies, so the vegetables release their natural juices. And you're going to want to stir this about every five minutes or so. Once that gets softened, you're going to remove it, and then you're going to put together your flax egg. The flax egg is great for helping it bind together. And then I'll be adding to my bowl the pre-cooked lentils. I pre-cooked the lentils and the quinoa the day before in the Instant Pot, which makes this come together super easy. Once that's in there, I'll add the sofrito mix. And then you're gonna add your oats. You could also use breadcrumbs if you prefer. And then I'm gonna add chopped pecans. I like to toast them, but you don't have to. And then I'm gonna add this flax egg. You can see it bind it together really well. And then we're gonna add tomato paste. Vegan Worcestershire. Smoked paprika. Thyme. Oregano fennel, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, cayenne, nutritional yeast, balsamic vinegar, maple syrup, and then we're going to add tamari, olive oil or tahini, once you get all those seasonings you're going to mix it together real well. And then you're going to also add the salt in once that's completely mixed. Another thing I love to add is the corn. I typically just use a frozen corn. It's completely optional, but it works great in there. I'm going to make sure it's blended really well. All right, and then we're gonna put it in the loaf pan. I like to make extra and just freeze the other one. So 
So you're gonna wanna pack it in there nice. And then we're going to make the glaze. And with that, I'll be adding ketchup, sriracha, tamari, vegan Worcestershire, maple syrup or agave nectar, apple cider vinegar, smoked paprika, cayenne pepper. You're gonna mix that together real well. Uh, you can whisk it too if you prefer. And then you're gonna top the lentil loaf with it. And then you're gonna wrap it with aluminum foil or parchment paper, whichever you prefer. And you're gonna put it in a preheated oven. Temperature set at about 400, and you're gonna cook that for roughly 30 minutes. For the last 15, take off your parchment paper or aluminum foil and let it cook another 15. Once that's finished, you're gonna take it out and let it sit for another 15 to let it set. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.